welcome back to my channel. So we are going to do a Seeking Sister Wife recap as Season 3, Episode 10 of Deeper and Deeper, where the Merrifields receive some unexpected news from Roberta. Okay, so we are going to start off with Garrick and Danielle. So Joel Olstein 2.0, a.k.a. Garrick, said things have been bittersweet since they had to leave Roberta. So Danielle and Garrick are back at their home in Colorado, and a few weeks after they returned from visiting Roberta, Roberta in Mexico they had to shut down production because of the pandemic and once they lifted the stay-at-home order the crew came back to catch up with the Merrifields and the Merrifields they've just been spending a lot of time at home with the kids homeschooling them and working out and Danielle and Garrick said being in lockdown together it actually brought them closer together but Roberta was still on their mind every day they claimed then Roberta tested positive for COVID and the Merrifields were crying and praying for Roberta to get better. Roberta never had to go to the hospital but she needed a safer place to recover and she was staying with her mother but she has a lot of health problems so Roberta ended up moving to her cousin's house and staying there and she allegedly doesn't have good phone service there and there's no internet so the Merrifields only hear from Roberta like once a day or once every few days and Roberta finally recovered from COVID and their plan was to get married in Mexico once her visa was approved but with the country on shutdown Roberta and Garrick decided with Roberta being 33 years old and she's not getting any younger that they want to get started on the baby making ASAP so Daniel doesn't really like the fact that they've changed gears from wanting to get married to wanting to have a baby ASAP and Daniel knows that's what Garrick and Roberta were going to want kids sooner or later but Danielle is hesitant because the pandemic is still going on and Roberta communication has been very spotty so Danielle's sister comes over and Danielle drops the bombshell that Roberta and Garrick are ready to get right to the baby making instead of planning a wedding and her sister's jaw just dropped and she's just like wow so Danielle is riding on the chance that if Roberta gets pregnant she thinks this pandemic will be over and she'll be able to be in America before she has the baby but as of right now when they were filming the borders were closed so Danielle said this will help Roberta start her family but I think what she really meant to say is she thinks this will help Roberta's chance on being able to come to the United States to be with them. Danielle's sister thinks that Garrick is doing all of this out of lust and when your feelings get involved it's hard to think logically and that's true. I think that's a very good point. Feelings aren't always facts and then she asked Danielle what if she if, what if Roberta has the baby in Brazil and then she can't come back to the United States and Garrick ends up leaving to go be with Roberta and the kid in Brazil and Danielle didn't really think about that and she reminded Danielle that she has only met Roberta a few times on vacation and that's not real life and that's a good point and a point I made in a previous video when you're on vacation you don't got no worries everything is just peaches and cream and then when you come home boom reality hits in you have to go to from day-to-day -day life and work and deal with the kids and that's when things get real and that's the true test if they can actually make it outside of the vacation life so next i wanted to touch on the winders so colton tammy and sophie all took kimberly their potential sister wife to the farm so she could see what colton spends most of his days doing and colton has had this farm in his family for over four generations they have chickens ducks sheep a horse and multiple other other animals and you know farms are a lot of work so Colton says Kimberly has a really kind-hearted personality and she hasn't shown any red fat flags so far so so far so good and Colton said he likes how sweet Kimberly is to other people and producers asked Kimberly if she was attracted to Colton and she said that she didn't know if she can answer that question about Colton because he's a married man so they asked Colton if he was attracted to Kimberly and he said he did not know yet she was really sweet and kind to people so Colton wanted to talk about his religion with Kimberly and Colton said it is er too early to start talking about converting but if she ends up being a sister wife she will need to convert so Kimberly left and she was crying prior to leaving and they're all so sad to see Kimberly have to leave so soon so they don't know what the future holds for them but the winters say they're going to pray about it and I and see where things end up so I think Kimberly is such a sweet lady 
And I really like the Winders. Like, even though watching them is like watching paint dry, I can tell they're truly good-hearted people, and they're in it for the right reasons. And then next, we have Gerard and Vanessa, the Clarks. So they go on their date with Emily, and it didn't really work out, but they're still going to remain friends with her. So the Clarks, they've been talking to this new chick from Texas named Krista, and I think they're she's a way better fit for their family because she has three kids, and she's actually closer to their age. She's 37, so it's nice to see them actually going for someone else besides all these young girls. Uh, Krista is more grounded, and she works in the medical field. Field, and Krista has never been in a plural relationship, but Gerard feels like Krista has a really good understanding of plural relationships. So Vanessa asked Krista if jealousy was going to be an issue, and Krista said there may be a question or a thought about it, but as long as they have a problem and she feels like she can voice her opinion openly, then she feels like everything will be fine. So Gerard said long distance relationships are hard because, you know, she's living in Texas, Krista is, but he really wants to see where this potential relationship can go but he said he wants to take things really slow so in the spoiler for next week's episode Vanessa and Gerard are sitting down and discussing how much harder seeking a potential sister wife is than they expected they said it's really draining emotionally and physically and Gerard is saying he is having second thoughts that polygamy is something he wants to do and is now considering just being monogamous so I don't know what happened with Krista while they're saying they want to give up all of a sudden I don't know if she ended up doing something that made them just give up or what's going on but I don't know I just don't have very high hopes with them his whole like him being the king and he says he calls all the shots like saying if they have a tribe meeting he's going to be the one that comes up with the final outcome I don't think that's very fair and I just see any like real woman is going to get sick of that whole of him trying to think he's like the ruler of the house. And next we have Sidian and Tasha. So Sidian is a part of a lot of Seeking Sister Wife Facebook groups. And he's getting tired of people roasting him. So he began roasting them back. And then he posted the Savage group kicked me out. They said I'm not allowed to make fun of them. Only they can make fun of me. What do you think? Should I be allowed if they are? On a scale from 1 to Pee Wee Herman. How savage are they? And I'm not going to lie. This had me rolling. Because I don't see Sidian as somebody that would do something like that. And the fact that he's roasting these people back. Back, I thought that was pretty funny and I mean if you're gonna be part of a savage group and they're gonna come for somebody you got to be able to take it back too, you know and I guess he got kicked out of a couple other Facebook groups of seeking sister wife so I saw someone said that they know the Joneses family really well and they live in the same town as them in Ohio and they spill the tea that Alexandra the one that city and took on a date to the sidekick is actually allegedly Tasha's sister's roommate and she has met city and Tasha before so now since I heard that it's hard to look at them the same because city said this is the first time he's met Alexandra Alexandra and they met online supposedly and her whole comment about dating other people and she may want other husbands that just seemed a little scripted you know or planned to me so when I heard that it kind of seemed fake I don't know though who knows that they're telling the truth so Sidian and Alexandra didn't kiss at the end of their first date Sidian is concerned with Alexandra not being interested in the whole mom thing and Sidian has three kids and two of his kids live with him so Sidian wants Alexandra to go on a date uh, with Tasha and him both and start trying to bring her around the kids so she can get an idea of the family aspect of things. So Tasha is concerned though because Alexandra doesn't really fit in with their long-term goals and I think that's a good point. Sydney doesn't think Alexandra is really serious about dating them but she is adventurous and wants to get to know Tasha better. So speaking of Sidian, him and Tasha have recently moved into a new home um, after he said he sold his home for Bitcoin and we saw the whole big well we I don't know if you guys pay attention to crypto or not but Bitcoin has crashed. I've lost a lot of money in crypto recently. So who are your guys' favorite couple and least favorite couple from this season of Seeking Sister Wife? Let me know in the comments below. And make sure you hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. It helps push my video out and it would mean the world to me. Subscribe if you haven't already. And make sure you turn on the bell notification so you'll be the first to see my videos as soon as they get dropped. Alright guys, have a good day and thank you so much for watching.